What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Beer with Jesse. Glad to have you back. It's time for another beer review. Tonight we're going to be reviewing a very special beer. It's actually going to be our very first lager on the show. Very first lager right here. It's from Indian Wells Brewing Company. It is their special black La Barami Bach. It is their Dapo Bach, if I'm not mistaken. Well, their Bach, obviously. And I'm very excited to drink this. It comes in at 12% ABV, which is actually, well, I mean, it's pretty strong. I'm, I'm thinking about it. This may be the highest or one of the highest alcohol beers that we had on the show. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this open with our matching bottle opener. We got the black, the white, and the red on there. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice colors on this bottle and uh, bottle opener. <laughs> well, yeah, let's pop this open, pour it into the glass. Let's see what we get from here. Once again, our very first lager. Now, this beer is actually a, uh, it was a gift. It was a gift from my buddy Gio, the guy who edits the videos. He edits them and uploads them and does all the, all the cool little effects on it. You know, he, he hooked it up with his beer. So, thanks a lot. I hope I enjoy this beer. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, pour it into a glass. Now, if you remember from the couple of episodes back, we talked about lagers and all the different variations on the lager. There are different beers that fall under the category of lager. There's one of them. There's their Doppelbach. So, let's just go ahead and pour this. I want you to see the color on this. Wow, look at that. We'll do it halfway for now. Save a little for later. Wow, look at that. Now again, it's a lager. Many no lagers from you know the other big the big you know beers, big breweries, see-through, yellow, light colored beers. This is not a light colored beer. It's still a lager. But oh my god, look at that color on this. It has nice red hue to it you kind of see through it a little bit but it's really dark and almost red can you see through that i don't know if you can see through it with the light there that looks nice really nice i just ah man i'm really digging that color uh head disappeared pretty quickly you know kind of light brown head on there it almost poured like a porter didn't it um some light bubbles in there um well, let's take a whiff here. Let's see what we get out of the uh, the aroma. Uh, very first log around the show, guys. Let's check this out. Oh, wow, that smells good. Oh, that smells really good. You know what? Let me put some more in. You know, it's definitely smelling different than you know any of the previous beers that we've smelled. You know, we're smelling all the uh, citrusy, hoppy aromas. You know, a lot of coffee off of the stouts and porters that we reviewed in the past. This is different. It's nothing like those beers that we reviewed. I'm getting almost like a. Oh wow! It's most. I don't want to say sweet, but it's more like it's gonna be a little bit sweet. It's more like a like a like a dark fruit on there, you know, like a you know something along the lines of like raisins and dates and things like that. I really get the dark fruits on this. It smells really good. Oh my god, it smells really good. It smells really good. Looks really good. Let's see what this tastes like. Once again, Special Black La Barami Buck by Indian Wells Brewing Company. Let's take a swig. Salud. Oh, wow, that smells good. Oh, wow. Ooh, 
That's that's really good. Oh my god. Good stuff. I actually haven't had a Bach in a while. It's been a while since I had one of the style, this style of beer. So it's really good. Nice to get back to it. Um, wow. This is hitting the spot real good right now. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, okay. The body on this. The body on this is really nice. It's a uh, light to medium body. Not too heavy. Which, you know. That's, that's alright, it's not a problem, obviously. It's a really malty beer, it has a nice malt, strong malt backbone on this beer. Oh yeah. Once again, getting that dark fruit in there, dark fruit. It's almost kind of nutty. You know, I don't know, I mean, oh my god. The aftertaste is so good. The aftertaste is almost sweet on this beer. So good. Wow, okay. Great. Uh, I love this. I love this beer, man. Gio, thank you, dude. Wow. Good stuff. This is actually my very first beer from Indian Wells. Um, I've seen a few of the beers around. I know they had like an orange blossom wheat ale. Uh, they have the regular Bach beer. It's like a red label to it. This is their double Bach, if I'm not mistaken. Excuse me. And I must say, for this being the first beer that I tried from them, I I love it. I love it. I'm a fan of the beer. And I'm actually going to go and uh, get some more of the beers. See what else they have to offer. See what the other beers taste like. Maybe even review them as well. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, great beer. Now once again, getting back to what I met, what I mentioned in the previous videos. This is a lager. It's not your typical, you know, pilsners, like you know all the Bud and the Miller beers. Those are all lagers as well. Well, for the most part, those are all lagers. But none of them look like this. None of them look like this. None of them smell like this. And they definitely don't taste like this. This beer is really good. If you guys want to try something different, uh, a lager that's not watered down and see-through, I highly recommend picking this up. Now, I'm not sure. This is one of the, another one of those bottles that I'm not sure on the uh, distribution on it. Uh, Gio, he actually got it from his girlfriend his girlfriend got it from her co-worker if I'm not mistaken I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly how that goes his girlfriend got it gave it to Gio Gio said hey man this for you drink it review it and let me know what you think so thank you and yeah like I said I'm not sure if you can find it out of here the Gio's girlfriend's co-worker that gave it to her actually went to the brewery itself picked it up picked it up there in the area so yeah i'm not sure on the distribution on it i don't know if you can find it here in la i'm sure you can i've honestly, ne I've honestly never looked for it but i'm sure we can find it once again if you guys are interested i'll find out for you i'll i'll do that research i'll let you guys know where to get it if interested I must say you should definitely be interested. This is a really good smelling, tasting, licking beer. It's up there, man. Good stuff. Wow. Also, you may have noticed, we no longer have a blank background. I have my beer cap map here that my brother got me. Um, it's obviously the shape of California. And I was trying to fill it up with nothing but uh, California breweries. But I was kind of getting impatient. So I just threw a bunch of, you know, good breweries on there that aren't from California. You know, you see some founders on there, some uh, fat heads, some Scott Brewing on there. But for the most part, they're all California based breweries. For the most part. I still have a few to fill up here on this side. This is awesome, by the way. This is really cool. Really great idea. 
I can't believe nobody thought of this earlier. Um, really cool idea. I actually want to get a, uh, a map of the United States next. Maybe put it on this side or somewhere else. I mean, it doesn't have to be here. So, yeah. Slowly but surely, this back wall will be filled up with uh, cool beer-related stuff. Um, back to the beer review. Good stuff. 12% alcohol. That's high. That's high. It's up there. I'm not really feeling it. Uh, it's hiding the alcohol really well. It's not boozy. This is not a boozy beer. It's not, you know, giving me a quick buzz. This may be one of those beers that just sneaks up on you. That's That might be what it ends up happening. I'm sure you know what type. You know, you're drinking them. You drink two or three of them. You don't feel it. Next thing you know, you're buzzing it. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is what it... I'm pretty sure that's what this is going to be. Because I don't taste the alcohol in this. It's actually... Uh, fairly easy drinking beer um, and it's hitting the spot really well right now really well oh my god I love that smell <sighs> so yeah would I recommend this beer yes I would most definitely recommend this beer where can you find it I'm not sure I will find out for you let me know in the comments if you're interested and I will find out for you and I'll give you an answer as soon as I can Wow, we actually have a couple of, uh, I have about three beers left in the fridge that need to be reviewed. I have a porter, I have a wheat beer, and a sour. A sour, our very first sour on this, episode, on this uh, show. It should be coming up within the next few episodes. And then some other special stuff after that. So keep an eye out for those videos, for those reviews. Uh, they're all coming up, coming up. <laughs> so yeah um, I think that's going to be it for tonight Really good beer I'm really enjoying this Once again, Gio, thank you So I'm going to have to let you guys go And I will see you next time And I really hope you guys enjoyed Watching this video As much as I enjoyed drinking this beer Once again, our very first lager Special Black La Barami Bach Indian Wells Brewing Company, 12% ABV. You guys have yourselves a good night, and I will see you next time. Salud. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh man, really good. Are we still filming? Oh, oh.